Not bad for the first time. All right, the next game that we're going to play is called Lines from a Hat. Woo! Woo this is crowd favorite. Players, everybody. So the actors will work in pairs, and you will act in a given scenario. Before you act, you're going to choose a line from a hat that the audience has submitted. You're not going to read the card, and then at some point in the scene, you'll need to read the line on their card, and you're going to have to work it into the scene. So actors, go ahead and pick up the lines. Round one, we're going to have uh, Vincent and Robert. Round two on deck, Kelly and Amy. Okay. And then round three, Justin and Chris. Bonus round four, I'll let you know. You guys got your scenarios? No. No, give a scenario. What's my scenario? What's the scenario? It's on the sheet. It's on the sheet. Ah, yes, hold. Ah, lines from a hat, because this is me, right here. All right. <laughs> Vincent and Robert. Are you improv this, I am improv I'm making it up. Here we go. In this first scenario, one of you is an airline ticket agent, and the other just missed the last flight to your own wedding. I'm sorry, sir, but the flights are gone. What do you mean, gone? They're in the sky. There's <laughs> no more. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what this is? Right here? See this? A ring. Yes. Do you know what a ring symbolizes? S eternity. <laughs> Look. I have to get on a plane and I need to see my bride so that we can get married and I can recite this vow that I said for her. I have this planned. I am the one who knocks. Is, is that an inside joke? You might want to work on that, sir, but I'm, I, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. I have do. plenty of time to work on it now if you're not going to get me on a flight. By the way, why do you have a ring if you're late for the wedding? It's a long story. I okay. really wanted to wear the ring ahead of time. I don't get things for myself, so just, just find me a flight. Okay, so okay, I would appreciate you to use a calm voice. In these situations, I find it helpful to say to oneself, Yes. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> All right, and scene. Give it up for Brittany and Walter White. All right. All right, so Kelly and Amy, you are two teens getting ready to audition for the cheerleading squad. Amy, I am so excited. We're so in this year. Kelly, I know. We got this girl. Bring it! Look, I can do it almost. Oh my god, you are so flexible. <laughs> All right, let's let's practice on the audience. Let's see if they can do a cheer with us. Okay, let's do ready? The, the... Let's do that one that's like this. When I say go, you say cool. Go. Cool. Go. Cool. When I say hey, you say okay. 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 See, good. look, I mean, we don't even know this crowd. They're not even like our team and they were so into it. You know what? I was thinking we should practice with something totally new. So, um... Because you never know what's going to go throat exactly. a, during the audition, because they like to just like, woo! Because you never right. know what's going to happen in the game. Woo! Ah, it makes me nervous. Exactly, ah! exactly. <laughs> You're getting me so pumped. Okay. So listen, my cousin's sister's name is friend that lives on the East Coast. She's in the, like, varsity cheer squad at her school, oh and she God. totally emailed me and sent me a really awesome cheer that they created me, at their tell school. Me, tell me, tell me, Okay, here's how it goes. Okay. okay. It's like this. Where are your fingers? <laughs> if, if we can pull that out at the audition, we are a shoe in No kidding. I know. <laughs> but you know what? If I don't make it this year, you know what? I'm just going to say, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Justin and Chris. All right, guys, here's your scenario. 
you are a weight trainer and his client. <laughs> right, bro? You ready to get pumped? Uh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. 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 You I'm ready? This. I'm ready. I'm you. I can I'm do this. this. Yeah. Yes. All right. First, you got to get into the mindset. Come on. Okay. Look, that's 100 pounds. I know you can do it. That's more than I weigh. I believe in you. Come on. Now you just need to focus. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Like this? There you go. Yep, yep. Okay. Now, now ready? On three, you're going to lift. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh. I'm doing it. You got it. You got it. Up, up higher. Up higher. Go, go, go. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Did I do it? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh wow, I'm so sorry about that. That was really heavy. It's okay, it's okay. That was really heavy. You know what? I, I, wow, I, mean, I thought 100 pounds was really light, but uh, I'm just really sorry, bro. That was just okay. not good. Listen, bro. All right, here, let's, let's, let's work on mental focus first. Mental focus. Mental focus. Yeah, yeah. you got to be mentally yes. focused. Yes. To lift heavy things. You do, you do, and you, you need all I, you need all the mental focus you can get. All right, so let's what, let's, let's let's work on the mantra. Mantra. You know what okay. that is? I, it's I've like heard a of saying. That. Yeah. Something. What, what do I say? Up. Mind, body, spirit. You get you pumped. Mind, spirit, body. So let's just close our eyes. Close. Think. Yeah. Focus. Focus. And repeat after me. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah. <laughs> you do it. Say hello to my little friend. Come on, no, no, no. Say hello to Say my little hello friend. My friend. Yeah. Yeah. You pops. Yeah, pops. Yeah. You know, All right. This, this reminds me of that strong movie when Arnold Schwarzenegger he gets up on the stage and and he says, "Help me, help you." Yeah. Yes. yes. Come say hello. All right, bonus round, bonus round. I'd like Vincent and Kelly up on stage. Vincent and Kelly. All right, for this bonus round, worth a whopping 10,000 points. <laughs> Obviously, I'm keeping track. You are running into your ex for the first time since the breakup. <laughs> I hey. should have known you'd still keep coming to our Starbucks. I thought, I thought it was mine in the deal. I thought this was my Starbucks. Yeah, but the one across the street had a too long of a line. I just was like, ah, she's not gonna be in here. And uh, once again, there you are. Yeah. Whatever. What did you order? It hasn't been that long since we broke up. You know my order. The little freffle weppa. It is a good drink. It is. Yeah. yeah. I remember when you, you tried to make one at home for me. That one, you came over and after, and you tried, it oh, yeah. was so bad. It was, it was so sweet though. It was really sweet. But that was just that one thing that you did that was sweet. After that, you were kind of a jerk. <laughs> I mean, if I was a jerk, it was probably because of some reason. Mm. Uh, yeah, I wonder what that would be. But, but I did have a question, you're... Kaylee. I mean, all things aside, I just, I don't understand when you broke it off, what you meant by what you said. <laughs> I speak plain, I speak clear. What was the problem? Like what? When I said what? I like warm hugs. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, right? <laughs> but you're always like, I stand in front of the fan. I hug ice cubes. So when like, I come to hug you, it's like freezing. I want warm hugs. I can't Not help my reptilian hugs. blood levels. <laughs> if you want to share with someone, you have to like warm up a bit. I don't know. You're, you're warmer. I have been trying. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to my best friend, because 
she's the one that talked me into blowing you, breaking it off with you. She said, Shannon. That's Shannon. I know. Well, she usually gives such good advice. And so I said, what should I do? And she said, it's a fucking I'm gonna die! Always so just <laughs> That was a really great portrayal of an awkward ex interaction, though, wouldn't you say? All right.